Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. Things have changed on Facebook again, so I'm hoping that this is going to work. Just let me get my computer where I can see what's going on. I don't know what, I don't know what Facebook keeps doing, but I see people are coming on, so I must be live somewhere. There we are. Okay, let's just click this so I can see the comments. I'm telling have you. Changed on every time. Facebook again. Every time I go on here, something has changed. So I just wanted to say hi before I flip you down to the bottom. Sandra and Jean and all sorts of people are watching. Yay! So thanks for popping in and I'm going to flip you around. Oh, I'm live. I'm as live as I get. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's going to be one of those nights I can see. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around, point you down to the table, and don't let me forget I have a draw tonight. Because you know how I forget the important stuff. Okay. There we go. Now... Thank goodness I'm live tonight. Yep. And why can't I see the comments? Of course, because something is going on with my Facebook. Oh, my good Lord. These Facebook people. I can't. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. <laughs> oh, my God. I have. I don't want to show this because this is what the draw is for. But I have it right here on my computer. So every time I look at the computer, I'm going to see my draw sheet. So maybe I will remember. Yeah. So I'm going to eventually show you how I created this card. Look at bling. Oh, lots of winky on there. So, but I want to show you the cards that I've received this week so far. I have one from Holly. Look at this one. Isn't this adorable? And wait for it. On it. I love wobblers. Yay! Wobbler time. Isn't that cute? And she's got lots of bling on there. Thank you, Holly. I love it. Now, I haven't put these... Oh, and the envelope even has the same Santa hat on it. I've been saving these up. I haven't put them out to look on yet. Now, I know this one isn't had made, but I wanted to show it to everybody because this is from... Carol, Carol Smith down in, I think it's Friendship WI Wisconsin, maybe. Is that what WI stands for? Anyways, she, this reminded me that she wanted to say hello to everybody and wanted me to m wish you all a Merry Christmas. So that's from Carol. This one is from Barb in Powell River. I remember helping Barb make that card. Lots of bling on it. Yep. Aren't they cute? I love cards. That's not a Christmas card, so I'll do that one in a minute. This one, this one is from, oh, this one is from Marg. Look at this. Look at how stunning this card is. Look. Isn't that amazing? Now, this is that blue glimmer paper that we had a couple of years ago. Maybe it was last year we had it. And this is silver embossed vellum. It's just, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, super pretty. And I love that tree too. Were you at that class, Val, when we did this over in Powell River? We had a... We did an outside mask, and then we sponged on the inside and then stamped that tree there. Snowflakes, yes, snowflakes. Oh, this is one of Val's. There we go. Val did a lot of coloring on this one. And I love the, I love how she's distressed the um, brick-and-mortar embossing folder. Isn't that cute? That's not Christmas either, but it's in the pile. You still have the card? <laughs> oh, okay, this one is from Yvonne and her hubby Frank. And this was 
Was this last year's? In last year's Christmas um, catalog, I believe, these. Yes, it was. I remember doing cards with it. That's cute. Look at that. And she put Wink Costello on the on the um, flames. <laughs> I love Wink Costello. Okay, this one. Oh, this one is from Judy. Judy was here today. Uh, we had a we had a class. Her and me together, the two of us, COVID style. Isn't it pretty? So blingy. This is blingy, and this is blingy. It's gorgeous. Love the happy, bright colors. Hey, Carmen. I didn't say hi to everybody. Did I? I don't remember. Anyways, hello. This one's from Trish. Trish lives here in town. This is that ribbon that's been out of stock for so long. I wonder if it's back in stock yet. Hmm. I should look. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Trish likes the um, the old-fashioned prints like that. And this one, oh, this one I received from my friend Laura down in Nanaimo. She's the one that instigated the fundraiser for the um, health care workers that we ended up getting 150 kits we did. Over 150 kits. So, and look at this. It's gorgeous. Bling, bling, bling. Now, do you remember when I was camping in October? I did a, I had a retro video come up. That was my very first video on um, YouTube. And it was this technique. But mine was sideways. And it had a train coming out of it. Isn't that cute? That uses that um, peaceful place designer paper that is no more. And then I got this one from Canada Dale, congratulating me on getting the last trip, earning the last incentive trip. And then this one is a thank you card from Yvonne. Could it's not pretty? So this is the, what's those poppy dies called? I can't remember, but it looks like she's stamped the paper with some splotches and different colors and then die cut it out. And then this is the um, embossing folder that I was really sad to see retire because it's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? And the thanks is out of the black glitter paper. I love it. I love it. Those are my cards for the week. Yep, I had fun every day going to my mailbox, and there was a whole bunch of cards. So I'm I'm going to be taking pictures and posting them next week because I think I'm going to take next week off. I know I said I'd be stamping with you on Monday, and we do make it with me Monday, but I think I'm not going to next week. I think I'm going to take next week off. I'm still thinking about it. Yes, they are gorgeous cards. I agree. Okay, so this one is made with the Mountain Air stamp set, which I've had for a long time, but it's been sitting unloved in the drawer, and I knew that I had to bring it out again because I'm afraid that this one is leaving um, at the end of April when the catalog goes away. I'm afraid they're going to take it and say bye-bye to it. There's the matching dies, the majestic mountain dies. Then the embossing in the background is the time-worn type that carried over from this catalog that's leaving at the end of the month, the holiday catalog. And then I used the stitched rectangle dies, so the largest one, and then number four and number five. So we have four and five on the front, and then I put the biggest one in the back. Oh, that would be pretty with the cabin. Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely, Val. Yeah, I think I, I, think I need some time off. 
Well, it's not that I'm going to have time off. It's that I'm going to have time not on camera because I've got so many samples I've got to get ready before January the 4th when I'm having my my um, catalog launch. And I haven't even started yet. Well, okay, I have two cards done. <laughs> I did one with the otters. And it's really cute. But I don't want to show you because then... It, it kind of lets the cat out of the bag, so to speak. So the happy birthday comes from Blossoms in Bloom. And the bling is holiday rhinestones. Okay. So we got that. I got the pieces I need. Got the pieces I need. And we're having fun. Okay. So to make this card, I have... a. Thick white base. Oops. The usual size, eight and a half by five and a half. Then I have two pieces of five and a quarter by four. One that I'm going to emboss and one I'm going to die cut for the inside. This is smoky slate, three by four and a quarter. This one is uh this one is for the die cut on the front that I'm going to do all the stamping on. And that's two and a quarter by four. This one, I have trees written on there, so it must mean I'm stamping some trees on there. And then I have a piece for the sentiment. That is a half an inch by about two and a half-ish. So I saw the, a card by Heidi Bax on Facebook. Nope, Pinterest. And decided I really needed to make this card. So I did, and I changed it up a bit. So we're going to... We're going to play. We're going to play. I haven't had a chance to play all day. I'm itching to do some stamping. Okay, so this is the one that I'm going to do all the stamping on, but I want to die cut it first. So it's getting die cut with number four. So I'll run that. I remembered my machine. We're going to have to do a contest to see. Not a contest. We'll take bets on whether I remember my machine or not before I go live. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. It's funny. All right. There we go. There's that piece. Die cut. And the next one up is number five and I'm going to die cut the I'm going to die cut the smoky slate. Might as well get all this done before I start stamping. Hey, right, there's that one. Put that die away. Get one of the five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to die cut the biggest one for the inside. And then I just have the other one to emboss. So this five and a quarter by four just barely makes that. You don't have you don't have much hanging around the outside. So if you cut it four and a quarter by five and a half, you'll probably have a better, have better luck with it. Okay, so those pieces are all cut. Now I have to emboss this with the time-worn type. I really like this embossing folder, and I'm glad that they carried it over because... I so miss subtle. Does anybody else miss the subtle embossing folder? Well, you guys probably still have it. Do you miss me using the, embo the subtle embossing folder? I brought my machine, but I forgot my embossing plate, so that's like a 50%. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter how much I... Doesn't matter how much I think I'm ready. Oh, I was going to try my earbuds tonight. All right.
Yeah. I have it too. I'm not letting go of that. And as a matter of fact, I bought a brand new one before it retired. Okay. Treats. Damp some treats. Misty Moonlight I'm using. Yeah, I love it too. Um, I used it and used it and used it. And now I can't. Because there's nothing I hate more than like you go into a... Um, a stamping store. I used to go into one down in Victoria every once in a while. And I'd get in there and they'd have this card and I would want to recreate the card. And I would say, I'd like this stuff. I need to make that card, please. And they never had it. It was always not in stock or they discontinued it. So not only did I stop going to that stamping store because they pissed me off. I swore when I started my own business that I was not going to um, use stuff that people couldn't buy because it really ticked me off. What do you guys feel when you go into a store and you're looking for something and you, they don't have it? Like a craft store and you want to remake something that they have hanging up and you can't do it because it's not sold anymore. Look, I got mung. Oh my god, how do I get mung on these things? Unbelievable. Okay, so that I'm going to put off to the side. Oh, dear. Did the fairy run as scheduled, Belle? I'm getting a piece of dirty paper because I want to use my mat and I don't have paper on it. Oh, I'll just use the back side of this one. There we go. Okay, so that piece I die cut for the front, let's start building that one. Okay, we got the mountains. And I'm going to ink it up in, you can't see, but I'm inking it up in Smoky Slate. Now, I'm only going to use a tiny part of it, but I'm inking up the whole thing because I haven't decided which part of it I want on there yet. And I don't want to be limited. Okay, so it has to be straight. And I want it right about there. Because I want to leave room to put the birds up there. Yeah, I haven't been in a craft store in forever either, Jean. I um, This was a long time ago that I used to go. That was before I started being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. That's how long ago it was. Okay, so that's Smoky Slate. Oh, yeah, that... Are they ever going to finish that bridge in Courtney? That's, was that the Fifth Avenue Bridge or the main one? I hate going over there now. It's so busy. And then every once in a while we have to tow our trailer through there. It's a nightmare. Okay, so now I'm going to take that double tree again. Ink it up in misty moonlight. And we're going to stamp some trees. I'm going to ink stamp stamp and then we'll ink and stamp and I think we'll just put a little bit of one over here then I want to put another part one in behind there but I need to ink it up stamp it off and redo it there. Oh, needs a little bit something over there too. So we'll do that same thing. Whoops. There. Perfect. What do you think? Does that look good? I need to do the envelope too. So we'll do that. 
Yeah, the one on 5th Street. They've been doing that. Well, we're on our second year now or something. It's almost tempting when we're going to Courtney to go along the highway, go past Courtney and go in um, at the next exit and come back in past the hospital. Then you don't have to deal with that whole mess there. And I'm going to put one up in behind like that. I think I'll leave that. There you go. So that's the inside or the envelope. So on the inside, I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom of that die cut one. And stamp it off. There we go. There's that one done. Okay. Put that away. So the only other stamping I... Oh, I have to put the birds on there. I didn't put the birds on. Come back here. Get my misty moonlight out. Oh, was it? Oof. Man, that's busy, busy place. And they really need to, they really need to deal with the traffic. Nope, that's not what I want. I want the birds. So I want to put three little tiny birds flying over the mountain right there. Yay! Yeah, I feel sorry for you guys because you have to go there. I don't have to go there because I can go to... The only reason I go there usually is to go to Costco and I can go to the one in Nanaimo. Or I can just get a hold of my son, Phil, who works in Nanaimo every day. And he can bring stuff home from Costco because he goes at least once a week. Okay, so I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday in Basic Gray over to the right-hand side because I'm going to flag the end of this one. There we go. Oh, it's a different happy birthday. Ah, I just noticed that. <laughs> it's the same size, but look, this one's in small print and this one's in capital. I didn't get the right one, but it works. Okay, let's do some... Uh, nope. i got to die cut these first. So I have to find the dies. And then, can you see the piece, the step that I need to do? What step I forgot to do? Okay, let's line these trees up. Get them in there. Guess what What step I haven't done on the main image yet? So that's the double tree die. This one is the single die. Oh, I just stamped them far enough apart to do them both at once. Uh-oh. Running out of post-it note. Emboss. No, nope. I've embossed, Holly. I embossed already. I did. I'm still, you still haven't got the last, besides the winky. I haven't got to the winky stage yet. But have a look at this while I'm die cutting this and let me know what I haven't done yet. Valerie got it. Valerie's favorite thing. Sponging. Okay, let's get these off of here so I could put the dies away and not lose them. I've been really good lately. I haven't lost a die. 
in a long time. I'm impressed with myself. Okay. Uh, now, now we can get the sponge in then. So, Misty Moonlight. And you can use a dauber. I just happen to have a sponge sitting here. So I'll just get some ink on there and go around the outside. Now this one I went way in. I'm going to do this not so far in and see what it looks like. I might, might do further in. So if you hold your sponge straight up and down like this, you only get a little tiny, oops, sorry, not that one, this one. See, it's got just a little tiny bit on it by straight up and down. So the more you want it to invade, the further you lay your sponge down. See how it's really invading in there and giving me a nice sponged um, frame around my piece. Now, get this one a little bit darker because it's already got really dark on the bottom. There we go. Now, I didn't sponge the inside. Do you want me to sponge the inside? Tell me, yes or no? Yes or no for sponging on the inside. Okay. This goes flat onto the smoky slate. Oh, I was using that adhesive on window sheet last night. It doesn't work very well on the window sheet. Kind of separates, sort of. Oh, yeah. It's down and it's not straight. Come on. Yeah, so I had... <laughs> okay, Jean says no, Valerie and Holly say yes. So I had an in-person class today with Judy, and it was a lot of fun. But now I hear tomorrow Dr. Bonnie may be telling us that we are restricted to having the number of people we can have in our house and who we can have in our house because... Okay, I, I always look at that word right there because that's hello, and that tells me whether it's um, up the right way or not. We have bad COVID, COVID numbers right now on the island and in British Columbia. Had 700 and something cases today. And um, on the island, we're, it's like, a, because there was a, I think it was a rugby tournament in Ontario. And the universities sent their rugby teams there, which, in my opinion, which is a humble opinion, they should never have done. But they came back with COVID. So there's 137 active COVID cases in UVic, which is in Victoria, right now, and about Eight of them are the new omnivirus. So I think those people should not have done that. And the Vancouver area universities also sent people there. And they've all got COVID in their universities as well. It's not just UVic. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to snip. You're outnumbered, Jean. I'm going to snip the foot off of that one because when I did this, it was annoying. And I'm going to put this on here kind of beside there. It's flat. And then this one I'm going to pop up as soon as I find my dimensionals. So I they're supposed to have a... Um, press conference tomorrow at noon and Ontario has already locked people down and they said that we're heading that way too so I suspect tomorrow we will be 
under quarantine again. But that's okay, because in reality, it's Christmas, and where do we need to go? We need to stay home. Stupid you, Vic, I'm telling you. I bet it did, because they've got an outbreak in Courtney, too. Exactly where you were. And then we got, what do we back up to 20-something cases in our area? Like, our area is a big area, because it's, Port Alberni, Bamfield, Euculet, Tofino, and um, a house it. So there's lots of area, physical area, and people area in our area. There we go. So they updated every Wednesday. You got more shopping to do? kind of shopping do you want to do? I'm putting Winky on now before I put the um, sentiment on. And I'm just going down the center of the trees till I get down to the bottom and then I add a bit more. Yeah, I bet. Well, I went had my hair cut today. Ooh! <sighs> Oh, excuse me. I had my hair cut today and the, the um, hairdresser says, you can take your mask off if you want. I said, no, thank you. I said, you tell me when you need to do around my ears and I will hold it in front of my face. I am not comfortable taking my mask off. Because she just got back from New Brunswick. <laughs> Don't need her getting me sick. Thank you very much. Okay, Sentiment. Thank you. Christmas gifts. Yeah, I'm all done. The only thing I haven't got is a turkey. And I'm not sure if I'm cooking a turkey this year or not. So I didn't get one yet. So if I am, I'll go and get one. If not, I have a chicken in the freezer and we'll just have chicken instead. We're kind of playing that part of our Christmas by ear this year. And I'm, I'm fine staying home. I don't mind staying home. Okay, put dimensional there. Now this is going to overlap. Come on, onto the tree a bit. So I have to be careful where I put. I'm going to want it right about there. Be careful where I put the other dimensional because I don't want it to be on the tree. There we go. Yeah, we haven't been in a in a restaurant to sit down and eat since this whole thing started. We do take out and bring it home. I uh, I refuse. I refuse to eat in a restaurant. It's too scary, too peopley. There we go. So there's that. Look at that. It doesn't take long to put this card together. It's actually quite cool. I just have the um the bling and the inside so let's put the inside in don't let me forget about the draw this be dave and i were having one of those frozen oh yeah yeah we have we've had those a couple of times they're actually quite good val just my advice is to keep something keep putting something on it while it's cooking otherwise it can dry out so I would just go in there with my olive oil and drizzle olive oil all over it during the cooking because you don't get a lot of juice. Um, or you could you could put bacon on it to get some fat on there or have some chicken stock or something that you can baste it with. Oh, you wanted me to sponge. I almost forgot. There's a shortage of turkeys anyway, so I figure the ones that really like turkey can have the turkey. Bilo here in town has a big sign up that they won't be getting turkeys because of the the supply chain and the floods. Because they like to source local stuff. Not local as in Vancouver Island, but local as in BC. And of course all our poultry, most of the poultry in BC is down in the lower mainland in the Abbotsford area. 
where they all got flooded out. You had no choice. The car was at SunWest. Yes. I did this, had my car at SunWest. I did, I did. It's not under warranty anymore, so I don't have to go there. There we go. Is that a good enough sponging? Okay, put this inside now. Oh, it looks pretty with it sponging around it. Is that straight? Because you'll really be able to tell. Should we put some winky in there? Absolutely, we're going to put winky in there. There we go. Ooh, love me some winky. Oh, yeah, I think your warranty's over too. It's good that you trust them. We have a local dude, so I don't have to go up there. He knows my car very well. He's, he does our car and our truck and he does everything. Everything mullet related. Wow. Well, you don't go anywhere, Val. You go to Courtney and back. That's it. Okay, so we're going to put some some blue holiday rhinestones on. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one up there. And I'm going to, I would put one here, but this happy birthday is apparently bigger than the other happy birthday, so I can't put it there. Right there. Right there. Perfect. Good. Good, good. So there we go. There's our card. See, that didn't take too long. The only thing I haven't done is put my name on the back. Oh, let's do that while I'm went to Calgary once. Wow, I'm impressed. Thanks, Jean. Put that on there. Look at that. I managed to do it without getting mung where it's important. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Thanks, Val. I'm so glad you guys could join me tonight. Now, I'm just going to blow my nose because i it's about to drip. <laughs> it always does that when I sneeze. Okay. So, a draw. I have a draw. So, I was going to do a draw tonight and next week too, but I'm not doing lives next week yet that I don't think. So, we can still do it because I'm going to still have posts and stuff. So, each night I'm going to give away something different. Now, it's not going to be all whatever days between now and Christmas. It'll be whenever I whenever I go live or I have a post up. So anybody who comments on the Facebook Live is going to get some Sunshine and Rainbow 6x6 six six designer paper. This is um, in the celebration. And look at the fun, look at the fun colors. Isn't that cool? You guys can't see it very well. Let me, let me just up. There, now you can see the whole thing. <laughs> Come on, get it straightened out. There we go. Okay, so comment, anybody who comments on this, um, this Facebook Live will get their name into a draw. And maybe that's what I'm, that's what I'll do. 
I will, I won't go live and do the draws, but I'll put them on the wheel and I'll record it and I'll post it. So let's write this down so I don't forget. So today is Thursday, the Thursday live. Tomorrow night is Friday collaboration. We'll still do, I'm still doing that. Then Monday, I will, Monday's post, whatever I post, I haven't decided yet. And then Thursday's post. And then it's Christmas Eve. And then it's Christmas. So. And then Monday, the 27th post. One, two, three, four, five posts. I'm going to give five draws. Anybody who po who comments on the posts up to the 27th. So tomorrow, tonight is the 16th. Tomorrow is the 17th. Then Monday is the 20th. Then Thursday is the 23rd. And then the 27th. So those posts, anybody who comments on it will get their name in the the wheel of names and I will draw um, for different stuff all during the week. And then um, I'll put everybody's name into the bag at the end. Like when I, when I draw... Um, when I draw for each individual one, I'll put all of the names from each day into a big one. And then I'll have a big fancy draw at the end for something. I haven't decided what yet. I haven't decided what the draws are going to be. Other than tonight is sunshine and rainbows. I might put embellishments in. I might put ribbon in. I might just do the paper. I don't know yet. So five, five posts, five draws. Everybody is going to go in the pot together for the next time I come live. Then I'll do a draw from everybody and give away something bigger than what I'm giving away for the next five days. Does that make sense to everybody? It makes sense to me, but that's just me. And sometimes I have communication issues. So can you just pop a comment in there and... Tell me if it makes sense, what I'm planning on doing. Five draws and then a grand prize draw. Just waiting for a comment to come through that it made sense to everybody. And don't forget when the new catalog comes out, while I'm waiting... Oh, good. Good. Okay. So when the new catalog comes out on the 4th of January, every $60 you spend gets you something out of celebration. No, where did I do with the celebration one? Uh-oh. There it is. There we go. So, um... $60 out of this or out of the annual catalog or out of the clearance rack, it doesn't matter what your $60 is from, but spend $60 starting the 4th of January and you get to choose one of the celebration items for free. And um, at 120 there's a couple of of big ones. So I'll just give you a quick run through there of the, some of the stuff that I have besides the, the paper, awesome otters, friendly. Hello. Now this one's 120 because it has paper that goes with it. Island vibes, special moments. This is the other 120 one, but look at all the, look at all the stamps you get. And I love the font in there. There's Valerie's Volkswagen one. I've already made a card out of that. I think I did for a swap. I did. And then there's catching butterflies. Look at my, my little miss Maggie looks just like my granddaughter. She's so cute. 
Okay, and then there, of course, there's the papers. And I don't have them handy other than this one. But there is, there is papers. There's daffodil paper and this paper. And then the friendly hello paper. Okay, friendly hello paper. So this is the paper that goes with that, this stamp set. So you buy this as a bundle. Well, you don't buy this. You choose this as a bundle at a $120 level. I can't show you the Volkswagen cards because they're for my catalog launch. Then there's the Daffodil Afternoon designer paper. And they're simply marvelous. Now this, this one, I'll give you a little hint. This one goes really good with the otters because it looks like water. And then sunshine and rainbows, the one I'm giving away. Okay. <laughs> I'm not showing you. You have to come, you have to come to the, the virtual catalog launch on the 4th of January. I know I said that I might be doing an in-person one, but I've canceled the in-person one and it's only going to be virtual. So it'll be the usual stuff that I do um, starting in the afternoon and highlighting different things all during the day. And then in the evening, I'll do a stamping presentation too. All right, ladies. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. Don't forget if you are lurking, as they call it, or you watch this on the repeat, um, to comment so I know that you've seen it and tomorrow before the my live tomorrow night I will put all the names on the wheel and we'll draw because I'm doing it zoom tomorrow night so I can share my screen and I'll draw tomorrow night for the for the sunshine and rainbows designer paper <laughs> you don't lurk that's good and um for those of you that don't live in Canada, please comment too, because I'll send you one of my my mountain air cards instead. I'd love to do that. You're very welcome. Thanks, Janet and Valerie and Jean and Carmen and Holly and whoever else is watching. I know there's some people that watch but don't comment, and that's fine. That, you can do that. Just remember, if you don't comment, your name doesn't go in the draw, though. Because I can't tell you we're watching. All right, ladies. Thanks so much. And don't forget, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, collaboration night. What are we doing? She said, with a question mark in her face. Oh, I didn't write it down. So it'll be, it'll be um, a secret until it post tomorrow morning because I can't remember what I'm collaborating with. Make it something new. We'll find out in the morning. Anyways, thanks so much, ladies. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock for the collaboration. Stampin' Smiles and bye for now.